Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021-22 Panini Mosaic English Premier League Soccer. Three box random team break number four, the final three boxes of that case we popped open a little while ago. We're also giving away five spots, so we only sold 15 spots outright. And we're gonna randomize those names, top five extra spots. So thank you. Four and a two, six times, top five after six. One, two, three, four, five and six, and six. Good luck. We got the top five right there. Andy, Ariano, twice. Eddie, Eddie just checked in, and Matt Arnold. Top five extra spots for you. We'll put those little rooftop symbols next to your name so you know that you won this. In, uh, in this little giveaway here, so you can differentiate it from your full spots. All right, now, second dice roll, let's do the uh, randomizing of your names and teams, and put it into that tab. Five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, and a two, six and seven. Seventh and final time. We got Ariano down to Eddie H. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Watford down to Norwich. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Ariano with Watford and Chelsea. Kenny with Man United. Ariano with Crystal Palace and Arsenal. Kevin with Brentford, Oscar with Man City. Matt Arnold, Newcastle and Everton. Ariano with West Ham. Uh, Matt with Burnley, Oscar with Aston Villa. Andy, you got my club, Liverpool. Matt Lehman with Tottenham. Matt Arnold with Brighton. Ariano with Leicester City. Andy with Wolves. Eddie with Southampton. Evan with Leeds and Eddie with Norwich. Let's sort alphabetically by, by club. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we will have the break. So stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That list you saw on the previous screen is now officially printed out. And we're ready to go. No deals were done. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. The Premier League season is over. A lot of transfer window stuff happening. See you, Jesse. A lot of transfer window acts. Transfer summer window is open. And I don't know what's going to happen. What are the big names? I think Sadio Mane is looking to leave Liverpool and go elsewhere. I think Mohamed Salah wants to stay at my club, Liverpool, but I don't know if they got they got to work out some some terms. A little contract extension. Robert Lewandowski may be on the move from Bayern to maybe a Spanish club. I think Erlen Holland is now with Man City. I think that deal's pretty much set. So a lot of change that could happen. And we're going into an odd World Cup year. Now, the year is not odd. But the, count, but the World Cup calendar is the start date. It's an even year. The start date is strange. Winter, fall, winter. So I think all the groups are set, right? So I think the last team to get in, was it Wales? That might have been one of the last teams to get in. I think most of the table was uh, set. So where, where are we sitting? Oh, I guess we're still waiting for the AFC Conmebol winners and OFC conferences as well. I think that's happening in a couple weeks. So it's not entirely set. There's still a couple couple places that are, uh, a couple spots that are still up for grabs. But I think our group is set. We're in group B, England, Iran, United States, and Wales. Our first match will be against Iran. No, against Wales. Check that. Our first England's matches against Iran.
There's Tino Livramento for Southampton. That'll be for Eddie. Matt, Matt is a Bayern supporter, hoping that Mane goes to, to, uh, to Bayern Munich. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they're a little... I think Liverpool will allow it, but I think they're a little far away on the transfer fee. There's Kevin De Bruyne for Man City. Oscar with that parallel. An all-card chip on this, too, so whatever our kind of key card that I miss. Any rookie parallel is great. Pierre, Lees, Malou for Norwich. That'll be for Eddie. Rico, uh, Rico Henry for Brentford. That'll be for Kevin. Nice Harvey Elliott. I think one of the one of the, one of the more top tier rookies in this soccer set. It goes to my club, Liverpool. Yeah, and then the World Cup starts like, I think for us Thanksgiving week or something like that. So it's going to be a really interesting, I mean, usually in any regular, in a normal year, it would usually be, usually be like now in June, early June through like late June or something like that. So it'll be strange to, to see. There's our autograph, John Terry. Old Chelsea legend, John Terry. That'll be for Ariano. Long time uh, Chelsea captain and England captain, I wanna say, for a long time. Martinelli's another one of those up and coming names here and we want to keep an eye on. Ariana with Arsenal. So you can find some parallels of those guys. Low number parallels would be especially nice. We got Josh Sargent, blue. 96 out of 99. Christian Pulisic, Rico Henry, or Henri, if he's French. No, England, so it's probably Rico Henry. Unless his parents are French, could be Henri. Adam Armstrong for Southampton. That'll be for Eddie. Rookie Silver. All right, box one in the books. I feel like we can get out of the out of the group stage. I feel like the United States can get out of the group stage. Let's see what? Let's check out some odds here. Turn off ad blocker here. Well, we're uh, England's minus two forty to win Group B. United States is plus seven hundred to win Group B. I don't need to win the group. I just need to. What about just advance? 
maybe those odds aren't available just yet. How about, okay, so here's your World Cup as of, I think this is according to NBC Sports, as of yesterday, June 5th, who's the odds provider here? Uh, points bet, these are points bet odds. So uh, predictably Brazil is five to one plus 500. That's always a pretty public pick. France, six to one plus 600. England plus 650. Spain plus 800. Germany plus 1,000, 10 to one. Argentina plus 1,000, that's also 10 to one. Belgium, Netherlands, Portugal, et cetera, et cetera. In case you're wondering, we are 125 to one to win the World Cup. Right next to uh, Mexico, also same odds. Poland, Canada, also same odds. Now the expectation is it's England with a great showing in the Euros, getting all the way to the finals and losing in shootouts. You would think that England would be up there. France has a really dangerous young team. Those favorites are up there, but where you where you can make the money is maybe finding a long shot, right? Who's that long shot? We'll, we'll take a look at the long, long shots in the next box, long, even longer than the United States. Here's Bukayo Saka, silver for Arsenal. And we've got uh, 23 out of 25. Nice low number. Christopher Ayer for Brentford. That'll be for Kevin and Brentford. Here, I have to also dropped the link to that NBC Sports article in the chat if you want to scroll down and look at the odds with me. For entertainment purposes only, of course. Ollie Watkins red. I, I'm flying by these, these red. The red perils are not numbered, by the way. I guess we're saving these Bukayo Sakas here. He's pretty good. Oh, that's not not his rookie card. I think he was last year. What was his rookie card? Mosaic Silver, João Pedro for Watford. It's for Ariano. Wilfred Ndidi. Alex Kral. Got a Jao Pedro mosaic for Watford. Still looking for our auto, right? Oh, I think it's. I think I saw it it's down there. And the auto. Behind Demarai Gray is Timo Werner. So from John Terry to Timo Werner, that's going to be for Ariana Daniel for Chelsea. Where's, uh, where's Germany at? Germany's plus 1,000, 10 to 1. Is it going 
in right there. All right, man. So what are what are some some deep deep value dogs? Canada, 125 to one. They seem to be running away with uh, running away with qualifying. If they can keep that hot streak up, maybe they found something. Canada is in a group with Belgium, Morocco, and Croatia. That's a, that's a deep pick that I kind of like. Wales could always make some noise, 200 to 1. I feel like there's got to be like a... Yeah, Uruguay, 50 to 1. Plus 5,000. I mean, one of these days, I feel like uh, an African team's gonna win. Senegal, 80 to one. Cameroon is 200 to one, it's a little much, but 80 to one might not be too crazy for Senegal. Sadio Mane is here. Cutter, a tiny little country, is uh, 250 to 1, plus 25,000, plus 25,000, 250 to 1. Um, there may be some interesting odds. Yeah, I'll have to look this up, but I think there are a number of instances where the host country will usually, will usually advance out of the group. I also think this is the last year we see um, 32 teams. By the time it gets to North America, wait, no, what, what, what is it after, after this? Is it North America after this, 2026? Yeah, 2026 is North America. I think North America is the one. So in four years, the tournament's going to expand to 48 teams, up from 32, which I feel like... I feel like it's a little much. I feel like it, I almost feel like it's like it's like college basketball. We're like, oh yeah, we're gonna keep, we're gonna add play-in games. We're gonna end up having, you know, we're gonna have a field of whatever double sixty-four is. You know, we're gonna we're we're gonna keep expanding it. And maybe I feel like they don't have to, but forty-eight teams. Really? Canada, according to Matt, saying they went on strike to refuse to take the field versus Panama on the friendly. What are, what are they... Uh, what's their beef with Panama? Another rookie silver here, Sir, uh, Sergei Canos for Brentford. That'll be for Kevin. And there's Daniel Bachman, Watford, 13 out of 99. Uh, citing unequal pay. That's fair enough. Harvey Elliott and a Albert Sambi Lakonga for Arsenal for Ariano. Color match there. Andy with Liverpool gets the Harvey Elliott rookie card. And we've got Clint Dempsey. Nice, Clint Dempsey. 
former U.S. men's national team star. I think was at Fulham for a bit, Tottenham for a bit. I think he may have gone to. Did he win a uh, Europa League final with Fulham back in the day? Anyway, this is Tottenham edition going to Matt Lehman. Nice Clint Dempsey. There's Christian Norgard for Brentford. Throwing Connor Cody cards around. Lucas Fabianski. Mason Holgate. Luramento for Eddie in Southampton. All these rookie cards definitely worth holding on to because a lot of those guys still in the early stages of their development. They could they could bloom into a star player for their club. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice three box break of Mosaic Premier League Soccer. Random team break number four. Some nice familiar faces here. Ton of parallels to work with as well. I appreciate everyone getting into that Mosaic Premier League action. That was random team break number four. Um, keep your eye out for some more soccer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll have more soccer throughout the year, and uh, we'll talk soccer, and I'm sure we'll be watching the World Cup eagerly at the end of the year as well. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.